Knight one. Also, Bushi Sushi. Ice Knight one with a comeback in game four and then just straight up one in game five. Pyramithra. Every time I watch Ethan Foe play, I swear to God he's playing a different character. Yeah, he was playing a little bit of uh, Wolf earlier in the night and uh, found the Pyramithra, and it just worked well. So The character just works, mostly. Yeah, I mean, they're just a good stuff's character. Um, they're just good all around, and here we are in game one on PS2. Looks, my my eyes are very green right now. Let me say that. That's all I'm going to say. You, you missed the part. This is where the best game would be. No. You'll you'll have a, a few more times to try it out. <laughs> I'll have a few more times to blind myself before I admit such a thing. It's not an admittance. It's just a state of fact. I'm pissed. It's okay. <laughs> and I'm pissed. Ooh, and that waterfall. Like, Squirtle Waterfall is, like, actually deceptive because you can go pretty high with it because that hitbox is just so massive. Oh, oh wow. that's just death. That, was that down tilt? I've never seen that Squirtle down tilt two frame at that end. Or, like, bleh, just like that before. But that was a good way to take the first stock against Pyramithra. Yeah, Ethan Foe was just a little bit too predictable on their recovery for that one. Um, Got to really put in those timing mix-ups because uh, if Pyramithra has a weakness, it is that recovery. Yep. Very true, and I feel like he just he took that entire stock with a Squirtle too, which is funny. You usually don't see that. Yeah, but that's how you know that you're firing on all cylinders. Yeah. Uh, if you can take stocks with Squirtle, uh, stocks will be flying whenever you get on that Ivysaur or Charizard. Very true. Oh no, the uh, platform safe and quicks over here, getting some low percent Squirtle combos. Yeah, honestly, uh. Uppy is not that great of an out-of-shield option, but that down air that Ethan Foe did, very creative. Yeah, very. To... Creative is a good word for it, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, he's trying to steal that. Ooh. I don't know why, but whenever, whenever Pokemon Trainer switches out the Pokemon and it, like, zooms the camera out to show the trainer, I always get really nervous for some reason, like something wacky is about to happen. I don't know what it is. Yeah, the camera unzooming for a uh, little pivotal, not, not pivotal, but uh, minuscule things like that is concerning, but we Ooh. got an up air, send them to the skies, and uh, Quicksilver looking to take game one. Yeah, this is uh, looking really good for Quicksilver here, that's for sure. Who said he? Oh, oh wow. Hey, <laughs> foresight this. Yeah. Who sent Ethan Foe into losers? <laughs> I just realized this is losers. Uh, I think losers it was like Sam T. I saw him playing. Uh, and assuming that Sam T. Silver is still in winner's side, Ethan Foe probably lost to I'm sure Twitch chat will help us out, but I'm, I'm also sure that you're right because you're, a comment you're the commentator. Yeah, I am. Uh-oh. He's level 100. Hey, shout-outs to my boy Teddy, but only my Texas people will know that. <laughs> All right, there goes right. the outfeed. Uh, Two stocks, two prominence revolts. Yeah, will it be three? Woo. What kind of wacky comeback is Ethan Foe going to pull out with the Pyramithra? Oh, another F smash connects. And the Squirtle looking at Dire Straight, so get him off. Woo. Oh, oh, there you go. Back air into Vine Whip. Good stuff. Cooks over taking game one. Also, I guess, yeah, you were in fact right. Sam T sent Ethan Foe to losers. Not in fact. I. Why do we always question if I'm right or wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll learn by the time this commentary block is over. But thank you, Abel PR. Goat activity. I don't really know these two players' character pools, so I couldn't tell you if there's going to be any character switches in this set. But I mean, like you said, Ethan plays a lot of characters. Got a wolf, Pyramithra. I'm missing some other one that he's used in bracket today. But um, I don't know. The Pyramithra, it, it was looking fine. It's not too terrible of a matchup. You know, just don't get killed by Squirtle solo. Yeah, exactly. The, the, I think the, oh, my God, really? Oh, wait, my you're God. Dead. You're actually dead. I was going to say don't get gimped at, at low percent again, but then it just happened. Oh, boy. That is not how you want to start game two. And oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, on the bright side. You are playing Pyramithra, so you have all the tools to make the comeback. Um, this is very true. Need to find the hits. 
Because I was gonna, I was gonna say, um, it's like the main thing was that uh, Quicksilver got that like zero, super quick zero to death in game one, but he get went to last stock anyway. So if that cannot uh -oh. happen. Uh oh. Double jump, yeah. And it's sent right back out. Oh, but oh, you nice. swing, and that's a good, good option. Yeah, very good challenge Ooh. there. Ethan Foe has not been touched very much here. Oh, another down air. Jeez. Oh. oh, nice wait. That was really good. Yeah, really spooked uh, Quicksilver. Like, you start getting hit by those pirate down airs, and you just are pretty much begging to take get your stock token. Exactly. All right. Yeah, that mid throw recovery a lot harder to contest on the ledge because it yeah, just has giant hitbox. Yeah, super cringe hitbox that keeps what? you away. How'd that miss? Yeah, speaking of cringe hitboxes. Speaking of cringe hitboxes. Oh my god, you're crazy just going out there with a pirate or Mithra there. Yeah, I really like it. And then switching over to Ooh. that pirate. Ooh. Wow, that was a really good side B there. What the heck? That's a Ted up? I've never seen that before. Yeah, if you are if you are breathing down Ivy Sword's neck, he'll send you straight up and uh, kill a lot Ooh. later. I'm sure that was not an intentional dash attack. Platforms are sticky in this game. That's so true. Ooh, oh. a forward tilt. Uh-oh, uh -oh. and there goes the flames. Oh, able to use the big hitbox, but oh. you are not safe on that re-grab. Step on him. Squish him. Yeah, that seismic quake, Ooh. but sin slam the sword down. It's a Quicksilver super far out. We've seen this situation before. Nice get of attack. I mean, I, I love Flame Nova, that neutral beat, as much as the next guy, but Ethan Foe can't just settle for that as his ledge traps. Yeah, he might not have la much la ending lag, but oh god. And despite that super early zero to death, Ethan Foe has pulled this back pretty hot, pretty, uh, pretty well. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you see Ethan Foe has switched oh. over to trying oh. to react, but that Razor Leaf... Whew. This is interesting. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. Oh, my God. Good Lord. Get him out of here. I am surprised that Ethan kind of stuck with the Pyra there to his detriment. That is the Pyra Mithra downfall. Everybody just wants to stay Pyra when their opponent is at 100 and something. You have to switch off. Yeah, you hit one Pyra down there, and you're like, oh, I like playing this character. And then you <laughs> slowly but surely start to realize uh, you can't fight back. Made a mistake. Oh, we're going back to PS2. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Yeah. Yeah, Quicksilver's kind of sweeping this right now. Let's switch into Wolf, though. Like you were saying, once again, your your pile of being rightness continues. It's almost like at this point, we shouldn't even question it. Mm -hmm. And with the most hype song of all, Lumio <laughs> City, why did no one turn this off? Why is this song in the game? It's a good song, just not good not for... In po uh, not in this. <laughs> just not good for this uh, situation, but... Oh, wow, that stutter step there. Oh, my God, he's, just, he's pressing buttons. They're both just matching right now. Yeah, but Ethan Foe coming up short, funnily enough. Ethan Fo Wolf is probably the character that I know the most of of all his characters, but it's been a bit since I've seen it. Ethan really needs to be careful just jumping off of this ledge willy nilly, oh but my God. speaking of careful, the perfectly placed tipper back air sits Quicksilver onto the Ivysaur. Poor, poor Squirtle being super light. Yeah. But good on Ethan Fo, at least he's he's putting up he's definitely putting up a fight. <laughs> No, he's got those jumps, but I like it. I like yeah. the attempt. I do love, I really love that combo, that falling forward air into down air. It just connects and it just looks so sweet with uh, Wolf's claw effects. Yeah, Wolf, Wolf uh, falling, falling uh, fair from Wolf is one of my favorite combo starters because it just don't, goes into whatever. Wolf is very much an imagination character. You can see Ethan Fo, he, uh, he, he's imagined in a, a full, a full uh, helping of combos and kill moves. Yeah, with Wolf, with Ethan Foe playing Wolf like this, you wonder why he was playing Pyramithra at all. Yeah, it, it was probably just a this character was hot in the moment, and uh, that's who we wanted to try out. But oh god, the Wolf's working. Oh, oh! hey, oh, Jesus, three stock baby. Sent him plummeting down with the Wolf Flash. Ethan Foe, sick as. 
telling his opponent you're good, but I'm better. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf. <laughs> what a way to start a potential reverse 3-0. <laughs> that, that's what you call momentum, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Oh, yeah. We'll see if Ethan Poe can ride that super high wave going into a Battlefield game here now. All right, you know what? I'll say it. That PS2 had one of the best games. I'll, I'll admit that much. Here, and I'll let you, you in on a trade industry secret. All right. You may hate PS2, okay. but because everybody picks PS2, statistically, the best <laughs> games are made there. So uh, now you will probably say it next time it shows up, obviously. I, right? I know you're right, but deep down, I just don't want to believe it. <laughs> well, we're here on Battlefield. So Regular Battlefield. Irregardless of what we were talking about, we got Battlefield potentially being the final ground of the fight, but Ethan Poe really has something else to say about that. Yeah, now that we're on Quicksilver's counter pick, I know he's got uh, he's got some stuff on this stage. He's already taken more percent than he did in the last game, I think. Uh, not yet. He, he got uh, Ethan Poe to a nice 100%. Oh, okay, gotcha. But Quicksilver... You know, kind of playing with this food right now, sticking on this Squirtle. We saw that it was a detriment last game. You get hit with one juicy fair, you can find yourself dead. Oh my god, the jab won. Never see that. Oh, that nair to catch out the jump. It just withdraws to safety. Quicksilver just never does, like, um, proactive switching. Just kind of switches yeah, he's off of been, necessity. He's the player, the Pokemon trainer I've seen play the most Squirtle out of any of them. Yeah. Oh, that's so oh god. I thought that was a drop. Oh! God damn. What an option. That is that young kid energy option because, <laughs> you know, I would never press I would, that button on the stick. That's I would crazy. never. All right. That's the, the Pokemon trainer Pyra is out. out. We'll see how long he stays out. Oh, Not very. off the top. That is wacky. That is very wacky. But Wolf, he's more than wacky. He is, he is, uh, he is a wolf. Part of the wolf pack, and then that sap, that falling there gets you so much damage. And Quicksilver is just looking kind of helpless right now after that. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Get out of there with your frame one escape option. Just get out of there. Oh, I love the grab there. You saw the startup frames of Upbeat, and uh, Ethan Pope, crisis averted with that uh, grab. Crisis averted, yeah. Oh, that was a really good grab. It was, it was such like a good grab. You saw the Pokemon trainer flinch. He <laughs> was like, oh my god, are you he serious? Was, he was in the air, and then he was grabbing him. Whew. Jesus, Ethan is just on Quicksilver, like white on this Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's, just, he's getting out of there. He's like, I'm sick of being... Ooh. Okay, finally got a stock. It's been a while since uh, Quicksilver actually got a stock. Yeah, that was a, that was a lure in type of side B, you know, said, oh, I'm going this way, and kind of brought Ethan Bo over towards him and then back aired <laughs> him immediately. True. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, Charizard Bear is one of those moves where it doesn't matter what percent you get hit by it. It's just like, oh, my stock is in danger because I got hit by Charizard I, Bear. I am extremely in danger right now. Oh, oh and the air-to-air -air always going to go towards Wolf with that super fast, super big Nair. That Nair is one of the best. Woo! There you go. All right, finally takes that. No, no need to scramble with the Charizard anymore. Yep, it also took out the trash, did the dishes, cleaned the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's far. He needs to use that I jump. love the idea of sinking low and using the upbeat. Oh, but that side beat did so much shield pressure. Huh? Uh -huh. Got these combos. It's crazy. Quicksilver, maybe he doesn't have it on his mind, but I know Ethan Pope does. He can most definitely finish this game off with another Wolf Blast trade. So. Yeah, I, I was thinking the exact same thing, yeah. I feel like he probably wants it, but he knows that you can't get too risky now. You're at high percent on your second stock. Oh! Whoa. Shines and then spot dodges the up smash. Does he have a kill throw? I don't even know. Yeah. I barely see Squirtle throw people. Yeah, back throw can kill at a super high percent. Like 150, it will probably start killing. Honestly, at this percent, if he gets it, it kills. But we're on the Ivysaur. Yeah, yeah. We're out. OK, the back air. Not able to get the Vine Whip. Yeah, good on Ethan Poe to drift out there, because that was dangerous. Yeah, Ooh. Ethan Poe hits a weak back air here. Jeez. All right, even a strong one, obviously, that will kill. But like. I'm yeah. looking for the flashy finish. I want something crazy, especially to finish out a reverse th potential reverse 3-0. This is still game two. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. Quicksilver has a breath of life. 
Now Ethan Foe is definitely not going to go for any wolf flash stuff. Do not want to risk that. If you miss it, you just lost your entire tournament run. That's fair. That's fair. He's got to have to move. Oh, I love that stage oh, yeah, positioning. That was, you're not dead. He's not dead. No yeah. rage. There goes that battlefield helping you out there. Yeah, seriously. Ooh, okay, the Nair, and ooh! All right, all right. Send him to the skies. JV. Got that JV on the cusp of a reverse 3-0. We got 2-2 two -two here. Thought this was going to be a wash, but no. Ethan Foe is showing why he's one of the best. Yeah, I really like Ethan's gameplay so far. He's really been showing why he has made it this far. Yeah. Even if he did get upset, or I assume it was an upset. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. Somebody in chat said what? It, what do you got? Uh, what do you? Who he lost to? But I already forgot. But uh, anyway, yeah. He's on stream up here for a reason. This is true. All facts. And Quicksilver is uh, no slouch either. Got that 2-0 on him, but the wolf is posing to be a problem right now. I believe in the uh, in either player. Because, I yeah, uh, Quicksilver was pulling it back on that game four. So I do think either player can uh, can close this out here. I didn't see what stage was picked. Was it Battlefield again? Yeah, it was well, Battlefield again. Right back. Yep. Here we go. Game five. Oh, 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 oh the tail. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Squirtle x tail. one of the most annoying moves to kind of get chipped by. I always mix up his up his F tilt and down tilt. Yeah, it kind of has similar startup, but like the function of the moves is just yeah, way holistically different. different. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little Aaron on that tech chase. Uh, his uh, Y positioning was not quite there. Ugh. Whew. Just getting that big damage on that yeah. big impact. What the? They're just pressing buttons. Yeah, they, they are mashing it. They are, they are both very antsy to, to win this loser's top eight qualifiers, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. the Nair finally to get the mark. Oh, are you Wait. dead? Oh, yeah, he used his jump and then air dodge. Couldn't grab a ledge. There's no way. I feel like, I mean, obviously, I'm not a PT player, and I'm not a good one either. Um, <laughs> but I feel like Quicksilver should be finding opportunities to be proactively switching. He just kind of says, I'm getting beat up as this character, and I'm just going to stay that I'm way. I'm just going to wait it out. Just like that nail. Oh, all right, what all right. What a good wait. What a weird way to take that first stock, but you take those. OK, and there's some of that proactive switching I was talking about, yeah. priming the Squirtle for the start of this next Ooh. stock. But uh, I say if you lose neutral here, you may want to scurry away. Yeah, uh, definitely. Squirtle's life is in danger. Oh, god, you are crazy Ooh. for challenging that. Hey, hey, I feel like these Squirtle up airs is what he wants from Battlefield, but Ethan Foe's just not letting it happen. Nice chase. Picks that footfall. Yeah, sends him, sends him soaring, but... Oh! oh not even the set, a sweet spot, just straight up killed him. Yeah, just on reaction. Or maybe just uh, just did it on the timing, but regardless, the down smash connected and ended the stock. Ooh. Yeah, you can def even though Ethan Foe's got a pretty good lead right now, you can tell he's still playing kind of kind of uh, nervously because Charizard's out. Charizard just does that to people. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it time and time again where Char Pokemon trainers will pull out that Charizard, Ooh. never put him away, and uh, clean sweep their opponent regardless of how many stocks they were down. Yeah, this is like a kind of a Pyra Mithra situation where it's like he just wants to stay Charizard to try and catch up, but Ethan Foe's and Wolf is just too fast. Oh, a nice oh. spot dodge there, but oh, okay. Not gonna kill. Oh, oh, caught him. This is what's gonna happen. Oh, oh god, ah. that was really bad. Yeah, if that was an S match, I think that's a set. But oh, that's tries headbutts. for it again. Ooh. You could really only take one more nice, of those. Nice switch. That was really good. Uh oh. Oh, I do like the the kind of kamikaze switch to. Oh wait. He's not dead. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, there oh, there it is. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Completes the reverse 3-0 with Wolf. And that's huge for Ethan Foe as they punch their ticket into top eight.